Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am the host, I am Jay, and I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone was good over Christmas and had every warmer present that they wanted, and none of you were extremely bad and beyond Santa's naughty list, and got the lump of coal that is on the Games Workshop site, that is that water pot. You know you're on Santa's shit list if you've got that. But it's 2019. It's a new year. And already we've got some juicy pre-orders to go ahead of. So without delay, let's get straight into it. <coughs> Damn, that's some poor editing skills. Right. Just for you to know, we've got a lot of uh, AOS stuff this week, mostly because we all know the Gloom Spite are going to be here. To sort of kick us off, we've got Dice. They're coming in at 17.50 for the set. They've made it look like little compact squigs. And we all know squigs are squishy. So these are going to be very soft dice. So... If you want to have a bit of fun on the table, by all means pick these up. 1750 for novelty dice. It's a little bit too much for me, so you know, that's if that's your flavour, go for it. No general worth his salt is gonna forget his rules for his army. So neither should you. The war scroll cards are coming in at ten pound. But everything from your units to your endless spells to your tokens. So that could include moon cycles for all we know at the moment. But get on it. Who wants to forget that very important rule at the most critical moment? So I am a firm believer in these. I got these from my uh, Legions and Nagash. So what do you guys think of these War Scroll cards? Are they just a quick mini grab? Or do you see them as very va valuable for your uh, tabletop gaming? And while we're on the subject of tabletop gaming, the Battle Tome is out this week. It's £25. Uh, there's a limited edition one as well on the site for £50. But if you're using it to take to tournaments or if you're taking it to your local gaming store, do you really want to be lugging around your special edition? Yeah, for, like for your everyday gamer, I know this is going to be good enough. So... Again, it's got, your, it's got your battalions, your scrolls, it's got your background law. And from what I've heard, there's going to be some good uh, stories in there. So it's going to be well worth checking out. I know there's been some reviews on uh, other channels. Best one I've heard so far is uh, Kitetsu, who was put up, went up when yesterday as of time of this recording. So, check him out. Um, I'm going to try and put a link down below so you can go over to his channel and listen to it and see what you guys think. So, yeah, um, but please can can you stay here until the end of the video first? I'll get lonely. Right, everyone, it's time to get on to some new and exciting models. So I'm going to take a quick swig of my tea. Oh, that's gorgeous. Always stick to Welsh brew. Anyway, back to the models at hand. We got a set of four Ender Spells. It's £20 for the set, which I think is amazing value for what they are. But also, we've got quick descriptions of what they are. We've got the Malevolent Moon which is said to disrupt spellcasters and crush nearby enemies. So that looks like it's going to be a very high casting spell because it's very effective by the sound of it. We've also got the Mork's Mighty Mushroom. Melts hordes with mutating spores. So that's going to be a massive area of effect mushroom. It is like Mork's Splitting the atom, the nuclear bomb itself. 
it looks fantastic. It looks creepy. It's not something you want to ingest, but it's going to be. These are going to be amazing on the tabletop. If everything is there to whittle down big hordes for your grots and your spider grots to just start mopping up. Right now we got them out the way. We've got the scuttle tide, which is a horde of spiders. It's the one at the bottom. So I'm guessing it's a uh, line of sight blocking. So who knows at the moment? We'll hopefully get more in the week to come because they're giving you previews, I think, this week on the build up to the release. But also, we got the Scrap Scuttle Arachna Cauldron. Very big name. It's looking quite spectacular. It gives me a very disc world feel. But then, I do love my Terry Pratchett. And what this does is follows the spellcast around, enhancing their abilities. But it says for a price. What that price is, we don't know. It's probably like you blow up on double ones. But it's going to be interesting to see. So I can't wait for these. These are going to be amazing. Tell me what you think below. Tell me in the comments. Have you been waiting for these? Or can you care less? Is this like a flavour you want in your army? Or are you just going to not bother? Tell me down below. And this is the kit I am most excited about. It is the Grot Fanatics. It's what most people wanted for years. Plastic Grot Fanatics. These are the things that just showed me the fun side of Warhammer Fantasy when I was little. And if you know me, not so little these days. But these are what set your minds aflame when we were younger. The plastic, the chains are looking flimsy, I know, but because they're plastic, they're probably going to give a little bit better than resin. But the first of our dual kits, they also become spore splatter fanatics. The OGs are called loon smashers, new ones are called spore splatters. Two various different roles. We've got loon smashers are your usual fanatics, they're going to hit hard, they're going to surprise your opponent. Second ones, the Spore Splatters, are going to be the cover base, because as they drop the spores, the puff of spore comes up, harder to see. Also in the kit are incredible extra designs, like you've got a squig skeleton, you've got, I think, in one of them there's a is a fanatic that's being sick off his own spore. So, exactly one you want. And because it's fanatics, as many mushrooms as your heart desires. So, it gives you that ability to be creative, which everyone that plays Grot has got this creative mind that they just want to share. So, I can't wait to see what people do with these kits. I even might pick up this kit for myself. And I don't even play them. Got no intention to play them. Right then, guys. Second dual kit. It is the Grot Starvers and Shooters. Coming in at £20.50. It's a 111 piece dual kit. So it's enough pikes. Enough crossbows. Enough porky things. And shooty things. To fill out our front line. It's going to be... Well, I'll be honest, good value for £20.50, considering it's a dual kit and you're going to have lots of space. So you can get very creative with this kit. You can even use this kit to kit bash anything you want. If you want to make your own grotty king, that's up to you. It's, well, I think this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be the bread and butter of your army. This is your front line. These are going to be the ones that are going to be charging in or stopping you getting charged. So, I'm glad that they didn't put these at like something like 30 quid. So, on to the next. 
And now we're going on to the Squig Hoppers. They are coming in at £30. For this you get 10 squigs plus riders. And supposedly each squig and each rider is customizable. So you can have them armoured up, less armoured. You can have them with pokey sticks, stabbers, pickaxes, whatever you desire. Grots are living up to their name as being the imagination takers and always have been. So leave your comments in below. What, uh, what are you looking forward to out of this whole pre-order? Were these the ones that you were waiting for or is there something else on the horizon? Right guys, as you all know, can't have too many squigs, especially if you grots. Right in front of us now, we've got the squig herders coming in at £27.50. We're going to get a lot of squigs, a lot of musicians. So, out of, out of the herders, you're going to make four, you get kits for four herders, sorry. But it only allows you to make two, so it's, it's the legs. But if you get your shooters and your stabbers, I'm sure you can kit bash to get extra... Uh, extra musicians in your group nice little fun kit as you can see from the uh, guy getting eaten by his squig down below so yeah i can't wait to see these on the tabletop right guys we're down to the final two first up a new special character the loon king himself what we know so far this guy is well, he's marvellous to me. Absolute head case. Wants to take over the world because the moon has told him to. And who can argue with the moon? The lunar cycles are the bitch. But, yeah, he's got amazing fluff. Uh, I can't wait to see his rules. He's an eight-piece kit. It's coming in at 20, 20 quid. He looks like he is going to be amazing. He's even got little squigs to help him carry around his cape. The guy is phenomenal. He looks like a legend in the making. Can't wait. Right then, guys, on to the final piece. The Loon Shrine. If you're going to be called the Loon King, and you tell people that the moon has told you to do stuff, what better way to show it than have this on the table? The model itself looks amazing effigy of the bad moon itself surrounded by uh, mushrooms it looks amazing this is going to be the must have and i see this being sold out pretty quickly as we all know in aos you've got to have a bit of terrain on the side we know we've got the maggot trees for for nurgle grave sites for nagash a moon shrine sorry a loon shrine for the grots coming in at 35 pound uh from what we know already in the description it makes your troops immune to battle shock which considering your little tiny squishy things that's amazing so like i said it's a must have but in addition to that you can bring back units as well. So, I don't know what the price is going to be on this, but it might be worth having two of these on the board. What's your view on it? Do you not like training your games like that? Let me know down below. The comment section is there for a reason. Use it. And... I just think this is amazing. This is this is what you, your army is going to be pouring out of. This is this is just an amazing centerpiece model. This is my well, I don't know. This is my winner winner chicken dinner of the week. Second place to this, I would say, is the fanatics. But I'm really biased on that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The first video back 
the version of 2019 it's not going to be the last but thank you for watching thank you for telling your friends because i've had a few more subscribers over the christmas break so thank you audience uh, keep up the good work um this is the part of the show which i don't have a lot of fun doing because it's me shilling out to you guys um it's just for you to be aware there's a patreon and there's a paypal link for the page they're going to be down below um thank you in advance uh the show is nothing without you um and that's i mean that from the bottom of my heart if you guys weren't coming back week after week to listen to the show the show would never never be but um it's a case of if i want to expand i need your help so that's why these links are down below so let me know have you enjoyed the show with all the new transitions because i've actually picked up a laptop now i'm trying out some new things hopefully soon i will be able to put up other video content like uh blood bowl but uh we'll go over that again uh wednesday i will be going over uh what came out of the open day today so stay tuned and i shall see you again